All right, we're going to show you how to set up the DSMA inside your ALX amplifiers. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and grab your SPAGC and grab it out of the uh, amplifier. Take your DSMA, and we recommend when you're placing it in to pinch down on the ground clips so they don't get caught on the ALX as you're putting it in there. First thing you'll notice when you plug the DSMA into the amplifier is you'll see a solid blue blinking light showing up here on the DSMA. That's letting you know that it's in manual mode. So you're going to want to take your controller and if you notice on the controller you got three buttons there. just want to show it to you. Uh, you got a mode button that cycles between manual and AGC mode. And then you also have a plus and minus button, and you use that to do extreme temperature adjustments when you're setting up your amplifier. So go ahead and plug that controller in. It's going to take about three seconds to connect, and you'll see a solid blue light on here. That's letting you know that you're in manual mode, just like it's showing on here. If for whatever reason you're not in manual mode, all you have to do is hit that mode button I showed you until it's solid blue on there and then you'll be in manual mode. So once you're there, uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is make adjustments and if you're in an extreme temperature situation. We have a chart included with DSM um, and if you take a look at it, let's say it was between 80 and 100 degrees out, well that's telling you you're going to want to increase the gain here by 1 dB. So you just tap that plus button, look at your highest level and when you've gone up by about a dB, uh, the next thing you want to do is just balance out your amp uh, as you usually would. Once your amp is balanced out, you hit the mode button on the controller and you'll see it start flashing red and blue. What's happening here is it's taking the channel from your controller, in your, in your case it's channel 70 analog, and it's uploading it into the DSM and then the DSM is, is, is aligning itself to the signal level. So we're going to see here in a few seconds, this is going to stop flashing like that. Now it just entered AGC mode. So you can go ahead and pull the controller out. And if you take a look on the DSM LED itself, you'll notice that instead of doing a steady flashing blue, you're seeing a pattern here. So you'll see it's going to do seven quick blinks and that's for 70, and then a slightly longer blink for zero, and then an even slightly longer blink than that, and that's letting you know that you're in analog mode as opposed to digital. And it's just going to repeat that over and over as it stays in AGC mode and keeps your levels balanced. And that's all there is to it.